Good morning. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, wisdom when you are in certain situations, how to receive wisdom from God uh, and what this wisdom is. I'm going to read from James chapter 1 verse 5. It says, If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Now, that sounds too simple to be true. But here, it, here, this is what it says. It says, if you need wisdom, wisdom would be understood by the Jews as that by which or the foundation from where you have life. Uh, how to have life. If you need wisdom, uh, if you are in any situation and you feel that life is being drained from you and you're going to need life in that situation, here is what the answer is. It says, if anyone lacks wisdom... You should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. In other words, God will give you wisdom without finding fault with you. In other words, he's not going to look at at you and say, no, 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 no. You cannot have wisdom from me because you've got this problem or that problem or whatever. He does not look at your faults. The Bible clearly says here in the NIV, it says, without finding fault. In the King James, it says, who abradeth not. Uh, The Greek means who doesn't take any record of the past. Now, we're looking at taking record of the past. uh, It refers to the law. So it was basically saying to the Jews here, listen, if you need wisdom of God, know that God will give it to you and he will take no record of the past. So he's not going to look at the past on who's a Jew, who's a Gentile. Have you obeyed the law? Have you obeyed the Ten Commandments? Have you paid your tithes? Have you done offerings? Have you done any of those things? No. It says here that God gives generally, uh, g- generously without finding fault. What will he give? He will give wisdom. Now the scripture also says that Jesus Christ became the wisdom of God unto us in Corinthians. So what he's going to do is he's going to give you Jesus. He's going to give you the power of the resurrection and how what Jesus has done for you in his death, burial, resurrection and ascension from where he rules today, how that applies to you, your situation and your future. So if you need wisdom in a situation, what God is going to give you is Jesus I know I repeat myself, but I feel I need to say this clearly. He's going to give you what Jesus did in his death, his burial, his resurrection, and in his ascension, his rulership over you today, and how that applies to you. It will shape your thoughts, it will shape your mind, plus from that reality will flow the power of the Spirit, bringing forth the life of God into your situation. Now it goes on here, and it says in verse 6, But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Now that immediately feels as if I'm now disqualified. What he's basically saying here is, and when he talks about doubt, is doubting if God will take account of the past. Doubting if he will abradeth, look at, uh, are you a Jew? Are you living according to the law? All those kind of things. So let us have no doubt that God gives freely, that he gives graciously, that life comes by Jesus, and that God takes no account of the old past legalistic law system that you stand before him as fully qualified for wisdom, and as you ask that, you know that he will give it to you. I've done it many times in my life, in a difficult situation, and uh, I would say, God, thank you that you give me wisdom. And now knowing what I'm knowing now, I would immediately expect my mind and thoughts and feelings to come to me as pertaining to who I am in Christ, what Christ has done for me, what my identity is in him, that it does not work by my own abilities, that it works by him. And as I rest in that, not doubting that God will go back to old legalistic systems of laws and uh, uh, living by the power of your ability and all those kind of things, knowing that it is not based on that system, as I live in confidence that it's just by him 
and not by my own works, and that I do stand before him as innocent, that I do stand before him as fully qualified for the power of who he is to manifest in me, wherein God doesn't take account of the past, as I'm bold in that, I find that he brings forth that life immediately in my mind. You immediately start to feel an inner peace. You immediately start to think of the future um, and the hope of what Christ has done. You find a refocus and the power of the life of Christ starting to flow in your life. Well, thank you that I could bless you today with this message. Uh, if you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. God bless.